If you guys want the best and most reliable Ultimate Team coin source, make sure you guys go check out FIFAUTCoinStore.com for all your Ultimate Team coin needs. All the links will be in the description below, so make sure you guys go check them out if you guys are interested in purchasing any coins. Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here bringing you guys a squad builder today. And today, guys, we have a really, really cool squad. And uh, we are actually featuring five Team of the Week players in this squad. So you guys can go ahead and uh, kind of figure out who is in it. We do have Muriel and we do have Gutsa, as you guys could probably tell. Because the past two days, I've come out with a review on the Informed Gutsa, or the second Informed Gutsa, as I should say. And uh, I did a review on the Informed Muriel as of yesterday. So if you guys are interested in going and checking those out, make sure you guys just go back to my channel and make sure you do that. Um, very good players, very cool cool players. I uh, was really glad I could review them for you guys and help you out a little bit. Um, was definitely worth it and uh, I will kind of you know touch on the review a little bit when we go through this uh, because it is kind of a long video because there was a lot of goal scores and as you can see um, on David De Gea right here who we have in net, he does have 15 games played so we did play a lot of games with this team and uh, that's because we were trying to get a lot of goals with certain players. So anyways guys as you can see at the goalkeeper we do have David De Gea a very good goalkeeper and I just gave away another team of the week player. You guys can see him in there. But uh, moving on to the first center back we do have Akiza. He is an absolutely underrated and amazing center back. Uh, 71 pace guys, 78 defense, and 73 heading as well. Four star weak foot, and then only two star skill moves, but that's self explanatory for a center back. But four star weak foot is pretty cool. But 71 pace is very good as a center back, especially being non rare and, uh, you know, being only a 75 overall rated. That is very good. He played very well for me. Now, moving on to the next center back, guys, we do have a Gerard PK, as most of you guys know. A very good player, very good player for Barcelona. 62 pace guys. 86 defense and 81 heading now um you know pk played excellent in this formation i have no idea why he he was terrible for me uh, when i used him in a 3-5-2 but when i actually moved to this formation he played really well for me i'm not sure if that's because the cdms did more work in the 3-5-2 um and we only have cms in this but um, i'm not entirely sure so Moving on to the next center back, guys. We do have our first team of the week player. We do have the Inform Jerome Boateng, guys. A very solid player for Bayern Munich. 76 pace, 80 defense, and 83 heading. So very good overall stats. His regular card is insane as well. So you might, you don't even have to go drop the 70,000 that I did on the uh, Inform player. Unless you guys really want him. Uh, but his regular card is absolutely phenomenal. One of the best defenders in the uh, Bundesliga. Especially, you know, being German. And he can link up with so many phenomenal players. And I give even Emmanuel Neuer... Uh, perfect links right there, but a very good defender and his inform played very well for me as well The only thing I would say is that his inform did seem to be a little bit slow So be on the lookout for that uh, But his regular card is actually very fast very pacey and it uh, does excellent things So moving on to the left mid guys you guys already have seen a review of him We do have the inform or the second inform I should say Mario Goodza who's been converted from a left mid or a cam excuse me to a left mid for this inform 84 pace guys 91 dribbling 78 shooting 63 defense 83 passing and 62 heading I do believe that said but four star weak foot and four star skillless is one of the most, you know, it's very important to have and very fun. That is an absolutely amazing free kick, just as I pointed out in his review. Uh, that is one of the cool things about Gutsa that, you know, you don't really know when you uh, get these players. Now, mo most of the time when you get informs, they have some pretty decent free kick stats. Um, I remember a while back, as if most of you guys remember, because, uh, you know, some of you have been with me for a while and some of you guys haven't. But I actually had this inform, uh, inform Ramis from Wigan Athletic in the BPL. He had insane free kick, as I just just make uh, another nice really free another nice really good free kick from Gutsa uh, but you know this guy had amazing free kicks um, and I had no idea why Rami did apparently he takes the free kicks for Wigan but not only that guys I do believe most informs just have very good free kick stats not entirely sure what that is uh, but I have definitely seen a trend with it um, you know just playing with a bunch of informs uh, because I do reviews and things of that nature. All the informs seem to have pretty decent, uh, you know, stats for free kicks. And Gutsa has very good sets. I believe he has 96 curve. Um, I did mention that in the review as well. But he is very good at them. And uh, he's also very good at just what he does. He has 91 dribbling so he can keep the ball close. And uh, 91 dribbling is very key, especially when you guys have four-star skills with a player. Because, you know, when you can combine close dribbling and uh, very good dribbling, um, all you know, as well as five, four or five star skills, it's very good because when you guys try to do Burba Spin, like I was explaining in the Muriel review yesterday, uh, it's very hard to keep the ball close to you. But if you have good ball control, uh, like Gutsa does, and if you have good dribbling, uh, it's much, much easier to keep that ball very close to you. So, moving on to the center mid, guys, we do have our third team of the week player already. Ilke Gundogan from Borussia Dortmund as well. Now, if we take a look at his stats, guys, 85 pace, 88 dribbling, 76 shooting, 68 defense, 82 passing and 68 heading four star weak foot and four star skimless. Those are some insane stats. 
but guys, he was terrible. He was absolutely awful. I mean, he did he did the good things for me. Um, you know, I will give it to him. He played some good defense, had some good passes, and made some good runs. But he only had three goals in 15 games, and his non-inform is so much better. Or at least it seemed to me it was so much better. Maybe I played him in the wrong position because uh, he does actually come at a camp position, so he might be, uh, you know, more meant to play in that camp position in a 3-5-2 or something to that nature. So, but he was absolutely awful, guys, and I did not like him at all. So, for those of you guys who are saying that, you know, I'd say every player is really good. No, guys, not every player is very good. I mean, there's just perfect example with Gunnigan as well. So, moving on to the next center mid, guys, we do have the informed Tiago from Barcelona. Now, Tiago was not very good for me either. I just really didn't like how he played. Um, you know, I thought he was going to be a very good card. He actually came as a default center mid, as you guys can see right now. Um, he actually didn't come as a cam. His regular card does come as a cam. So, if you're going to go ahead and get the regular card and kind of transfer him over to a CM, uh, it's kind of going to be really hard because he's going to cost around 7,000 coins. He, you know, the cam to CM card is just ridiculous at this point, and uh, it's very, it's a lot of coins, and, uh, but, but luckily the inform did come at center mid, and I bought him for very, fairly cheap. Uh, he's kind of going for around 20k now, so not even too bad. So, moving on to the right mid, guys, we do have Jesus Navas. Obviously, guys, the pace monster. I mean, this guy's absolutely unbelievable. He is so fast. People like to abuse his pace so much. I have no idea why the, I mean, I do have an idea why they like to do it, uh, because everyone's just sweaty, and that's how people like to play FIFA, but he's very fast at 92 pace, guys, and has scored a really nice goal here for me, kind of got it off a rebound, um, you know, just, he, d he didn't produce from the right mid, he would be much better at a right wing, just like most of the wingers and things of that nature, uh, you know, because I don't really score with the mids whenever, you know, whatever formation I play with. So, luckily enough, I was able to get enough goals with Guts up. But that was because I actually, you know, I sincerely tried to get goals with him. And uh, made made sure I, you know, knew the player to his full potential. And I could review him for you guys. So, moving on to center forward. As you guys can see, we do have Victor Abarbo, the regular. We did we chose not to go with the inform, guys. We could have went with the inform. Uh, but I thought the team would be a little bit too stacked right then. Unfortunately, he only got one goal for us. Which I have no idea how this guy only produces one goal. But he got a little dinky header off a corner um i have no idea that happened in the first game and then he went on production uh he didn't have any production for 14 games after that i have no idea how someone can do that um it just it just kind of blows my mind for some reason and um i, I have no idea his inform was unbelievable for me uh but unfortunately you know his regular card was just absolutely you know it wasn't terrible it was very good but um you know it just wasn't wasn't what i expected it would be but as you guys can see at the first striker we do have sal from cagliari in the syria ah this guy was phenomenal i mean he had 92 pace i thought he was going to score more goals than he did because of that pace a lot of people like using this silver player uh, but he is just absolutely exceptional i actually went in and uh, took a look at some of his game stats his acceleration is crazy i believe it's high 90s around 95 or 96 so whenever you get the ball of this player he is going to be able to go and just go absolutely crazy um on the pitch he tends to outrun so many defenders all the time i mean obviously guys he has 90 something pace which is just ridiculous so um He's just a very good silver. I'm actually thinking about doing a player review on him. Uh, be, let me know in the comment section below, actually, if you guys want a player review on uh, Sal. Um, I'm not sure how it'll go over because most people, you know, he's not an inform or anything. He's just a very good silver. Uh, kind of kind of falls along the lines of one of those BPL silvers just in the Serie A, and he is Italian, so he doesn't really link up with them. But nonetheless, guys, one of the best silvers in the game, I do believe. He actually comes as, as a default center forward, and just like the cam to center mid card, the center forward to striker card is even more expensive. So that's why I ended up paying like around uh, 17, 18,000 coins for him. So it's kind of a little bit ridiculous. And his center forward card, uh, I believe, goes for like, um, I don't know, it goes for like 5,000 coins or something like that. It's not very expensive at all. So people are kind of taking advantage of switching him to a striker and uh, kind of selling him at that high of a level. And unfortunately, I kind of lost some uh, coins on him. I'm not entirely sure why. It's probably because I switched up the formation to a uh, 3 4. Uh, one, two, not entirely sure, but nonetheless, he was a very good player. And moving on to the final player in this squad, guys, we do have the inform Muriel, who I did a review on yesterday, guys. 91 pace, just an absolutely exceptional player, 89 dribbling. It is just amazing. And 80 shooting. Those are the three standout stats that I take out of Muriel. And what you guys could have seen from uh, the review yesterday, I mean, he is just phenomenal. Now, one of the biggest things that I did say in the review, um, you guys can go ahead and I'll elaborate it on a little bit here. And you guys, you guys can also go ahead and check that review out. Uh, what I really said is that he's not entirely worth it because his normal card is so good. I mean, there's a few players that if they got an inform in this game, 
um, you know, for instance, Gundigan, if he got an inform, but his normal card is amazing. It is one of the best players uh, that you could possibly play with in the Bundesliga. Mark my words, guys. If you have yet to go try out the regular Gundigan, please go do that. I mean, he cost under a thousand coins and he is just absolutely phenomenal. So it's just one of those players that their regular cards are so good already that uh, it's very hard to believe that their informs could be any better. And Muriel fits that exactly. I mean, there's a few others. Um, you know, like Kone, uh, you know, Daniel Sturge. If Daniel Sturge got an inform, that thing would be ridiculous. But his normal card is so dominant. He stands over six foot feet tall and he's 90 pace. I mean, what what else do you really want from a player? I mean, Kone is exceptional. Uh, Asaidi, just people of those natures. I know I just listed off a few BPL players, but there's just a few players that are just so good that you can't even imagine like them getting an inform. And Muriel is just one of those guys. Now, the, the huge, the big reason why I would say not to get him, guys, is I spent 120,000 coins on this inform player. Go ahead and watch the goals, guys, by the way, why I'm talking about this. Uh, so you guys can kind of see how he plays and kind of see how he moves and uh, things like that. So I spent 120,000 coins on this guy. Now, his regular does not come as a center forward, which means he is fairly cheap and his card weight is extremely heavy. Card weight, guys, means that there's a lot of them on the market, so they're very low in price. Um, you know, for instance, this inform, there's not going to be as many of them, so they're going to be higher in price it's just kind of how fifa works so um basically guys his regular comes at a striker and you can get it for less than a thousand coins just like gun again i mean gun again might run you around 1500 because before his before you know everyone really knew about him he was fairly cheap but i think people are kind of latching on now and uh, knowing how good he is and how well he does play so um but nonetheless guys muriel's regular card is insane and uh, it, he actually didn't get a pace upgrade and i know most of you guys really do calculate pace and what players you choose to play with um so we actually didn't get a pace upgrade so why bother spending 119,000 extra coins just to get the inform i mean if you guys do have that money and if you guys are willing to spend that feel free to go ahead and do it he's definitely well worth it he's an excellent player uh, but i would definitely recommend trying out the regular one before you guys kind of uh quote unquote splash the cash on the inform so thank you guys for watching so much hopefully you guys did enjoy this squad builder there's five team of the week players in here we got the boateng we got gundigan gutsa muriel and of course we have tiago so thank you guys for watching please drop a like it would mean the world to me if you have not subscribed yet make sure you guys do thank you all for watching once again drop a like if you haven't but until next time guys this has been Urso, and have a good one